two minute warning. Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. This is Marco from BleedBigBlue.com and your host of the Bleed Big Blue podcast. Now, OTA week number one is all wrapped up and in the books. Don't get yourself too hyped because this is just practice, not a game, practice. This is just an auditioning process for players to make this team. Eventually, they're going to have to cut that 90-man roster down to 53. This is the shot for players to impress someone and make that squad or a backup to become a starter. This is where it starts. You know that old saying, make a good first impression. Well, the OTAs is making a good first impression. Let's move on to free agent Michael Kendricks. He's still not signed. And the rumor mill is pretty quiet with him. I think it's a good move if the Giants make an offer, but I don't know what they can offer. According to a bunch of reports, the Eagles asked him to take a big pay cut. He was set to make somewhere around four to six million dollars, and they couldn't come to an agreement, so that's why they decided to cut him. Looking at the Giants' salary numbers, they're gonna have to get creative if they wanna sign him for somewhere in that four to six range. I think that's what he's looking for. We put out a video last week about the Giants and Eli Manning settling their memorabilia misrepresentation or fraudulent items. According to the lawsuit, they were trying to pass off game-used merchandise that might not be game-used. They settled out of court, everything is quiet, so all is okay. But days after the settlement was reached, the Giants fired three of their longtime equipment managers, Joe and Ed Skiba and Ed Wagner. Apparently, there are a few questionable emails and a few questionable texts that put him in a bad light. Joe Skiba, the then equipment manager in a text, said he was going to tell the whole world the effing truth. So this story is probably still not done, and let's see what comes of it. If you are new here and like what's going on, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications, this way when we go live, you don't miss anything. Feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Also, we put out some new merch. A link to that is in the description below. If you've bought a shirt, please tag me. Eventually, I'd like to get them up and show people rocking the merch. If you need any other information about the channel or the website, again, links are in the description. I will talk to you all later on. Peace.